What's up guys, this is the T-Ball and I am back with another video. Before I start, if you guys can hit that like button and subscribe for more basketball videos. I do analysis, predictions, and other NBA things throughout the year. Um, it would just be a great help into growing our channel. So with that, let's just get straight into it. Today I'm going to be talking about why Brandon Ingram will have a really good chance at being the Rookie of the Year this year. Um, first, let's go to some... A uh, quick, quick overview, he was selected second overall in the first round by the Lakers this past uh, NBA draft. He um, played for Duke and he averaged 17 points, 7 boards, 2 assists, 1 steal, and 1 block. He's only 18 years old, 6'9", 190 pounds, and he really does remind me of Kevin Durant. Very long, skinny, athletic, lengthy, and he's a great scorer. Um, and uh, I really think he has a good chance to be the Rookie of the Year because, first of all, no more Byron Scott. I think we all know how uh, terrible Byron Scott was for the past two years. I mean, he was like, honestly, in my opinion, he was probably the worst or the second worst coach for overall for the past two years. But he did help the Lakers tank and get that uh, uh, second overall pick. And uh, no more Kobe, obviously. Kobe retired. I think everyone knows that. And Kobe last year and throughout his career takes a lot of shots and needs a ball in his hands and uh, it's going to be uh, really different now for the Lakers now that um, they have Clarkson, Russell and now Ingram uh, being the main focal points of the offense and uh, it's going to be weird with no more Kobe. Also the Lakers now have a, a new head coach of Luke Walton who uh, I think he'll be a great head coach as he definitely has some great experience with the uh, Warriors for the past two seasons as an assistant coach. Obviously the Warriors won um, the championship uh, two seasons ago. Also I think Russell and Clark Clarkson and Julius Randle will definitely um, take the offensive pressure away from him. I think Russell will definitely be uh, really targeted by opposing defenses because um, he definitely improved uh, last year. I mean, this this off season, and if you saw him in the summer league, he was pretty good, except for his uh, shooting was a little off. And um, yeah, also the Lakers did sign Luol Deng to a monster deal. Um, I think Luol Deng will definitely help mentor um, Ingram and teach him basically the the tricks in the trade of being in the NBA and a small being a small forward. Also, I think this is a good opportunity and a situation for Ingram. I think he can definitely expect 30 minutes a game or so. He's also a great shooter, will spread the floor, and I think Simmons, Ben Simmons of the Sixers, the first overall pick of the NBA draft will struggle a bit at least. Um, definitely going to have a ton of turnovers as he will be handling the ball most of the time. I'm pretty sure the Sixers are looking at him as a point forward, and um, he, was, he was pretty good in summer league, uh, had, had some trouble shooting, but Definitely had some uh, good passing. He reminds me of like a big Rondo kind of, to be honest. But um, I think he's definitely gonna be much better. And um, yeah, Simmons is, is a terrible shooter, as I said before. And if the Lakers outperform expectations, I'm not definitely not saying they're gonna make the playoffs. But um, if they can, uh, you know, maybe win 30, 35 games or so, I mean, I think Ingram will definitely have a good chance. And um, overall, I think. Brandon Ingram has a 25% chance, 25 to 30% chance of winning the Rookie of the Year honors. I really still think Ben Simmons does have probably the best chance because obviously in Philadelphia he's going to be having the ball a lot and he'll definitely have pretty inflated stats, but I really think Ingram has a really a decent chance of winning Rookie of the Year. Thanks guys for watching. That's a wrap. If you guys enjoyed this quick analysis, be sure to leave a like, as I said before, and subscribe for more basketball videos. If you want me to make a video of anything, just drop a comment down below or send me a message, and I'll uh, I'll try my best to make a video. I'm not home right now, so that's why I don't really have any uh, highlight or clips or anything in this video. It's just basically me uh, me and my uh, prediction analysis type of thing. So once I get home, uh, quality and everything will be much better. So thanks guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.